Running a successful business is more than just fixing the lives of my clients. There is also an obligation to the business community as a whole. We entrepreneurs have to watch out for each other, which is why today I am meeting with the one and only Maddie Bates. And since Alex told me that she needed my help and that we couldn't throw our cocktail party until I helped her, I will now do my duty as a lifestyle betterer. He also reminded me that Ms. Bates never likes asking for help, so I will simply make it seem like she is helping me by giving me financial advice, but in reality, I will be helping her by figuring out all her problems. Doesn't mean it will be fun for me though. This will require some finesse, but luckily I am the master at delicate situations. I have known Maddie Bates practically my entire life. She is a good friend of my father's. She used to be his office manager back in the day. She was my father's Harriet. Anyway, Maddie had to quit when her mother got too old to live on her own, so my father had the Highbury Group back her business, Bates' Financial Services, so that she could work from home. Unfortunately, her business never got much further than fledgling. Add to that, taking care of her mother and living on a budget, Maddie doesn't get out much, and when she does, she tends to be very... Enthusiastic. Maddie is a very nice person, very nice. But meeting with her today will take some mental preparation. Emma, I have your uh, wheatgrass. Thanks, Harriet. <sighs> that doesn't seem pleasant. It wasn't, but I need focus and stamina and something to kill my taste buds. Why? The first is because I need to solve Maddie Bates' problem in 10 minutes or less. By 10 minutes? Because 10 minutes after Maddie gets here, I'm going to get a very important phone call. From who? I don't know, but it will be someone so important I will have to cut short my meeting with Maddie. Understand? Oh, yes! Very important phone call, 10 minutes in. 10 minutes in is about when Maddie will start talking about her niece. Who's her niece? Jane Fairfax. We went to school together as kids, but then Jane got a scholarship to Oxford. Ever since then, it's been, Jane's a Rhodes Scholar! Jane playing at Carnegie Hall. Jane's got her master's in social policy. And I would just prefer not to have to listen to a recitation of every email Jane sent Maddie within the past week. But <clears throat> what about the other thing? Why do you need to kill your taste buds? Because Maddie makes jams. She loves to share them, and the flavor combinations can be interesting. Emma Woodhouse. Maddie, how are you? Oh, you get more grown up every time I see you. Oh, you know, I was telling Mama that I was coming to meet with you and she insisted that I bring my latest preserve. Peach guava turnip. The turnip makes it smoother. Oh, how <laughs> nice of you. Thank you, Maddie. We'll just save this for later. Listen, I can't tell you how much it means to me that you wanted to learn from me. Oh, I told your father last month that you had grown into a fine young woman. Oh, thank you, Maddie. That's very sweet of you. I didn't think I'd get a chance to teach you the tricks of my trade. Right, right. Well, Alex was the one who suggested Oh, and when that adorable Mr. Knightley told me how excited you were to learn about financial planning, I was overjoyed. I told Mama, Mama! You know, she's a little deaf. Mama, Emma wants me to teach her about finances. Can you imagine? And she said, well, if there's anyone who can teach her how to pinch pennies, it is you. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, knowledge is an endless pursuit. And if you want to thank Alex for this, I know he cannot get enough of your preserves. Really? Well, then I have to make him something special. <laughs> well, I guess we could just get right to it. I have all of Highbury's expense reports from last year. <laughs> Great! Let's just put this over here. We'll let her be safe. Uh, before we get started, I have to say I feel awful for postponing our lunch. How is your mother? She is well, bless your heart. Doing much better since she got her glasses before I used to have to tell her, Mama! The refrigerator's over there! <laughs> oh, you and Jane are just two peas in a pod when it comes to taking care of others. <laughs> oh, Jane! I guess we're starting early then. Jane is just so wonderful. She's heading a charity for inner city youth in Hackney of all places. And she spent last weekend lobbying for more public parks. 
And that's just in her spare time. And did you know she just adopted a kitten, found it right there on the street, nursed it back to health? It's blind in one eye. <laughs> she has a bit of a cold, but she's not gonna let that stop her. She has signed up to run the Surrey Half Marathon this weekend. Oh, your Jane is pretty incredible. There is no one like her. Oh, thank you, sweetie. The fact that the great Emma Woodhouse oh. thinks so highly of Jane makes Maddie Bates a happy woman. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> So, how's business? Oh, well, you know, every business has its ups and downs. Um, it's just the way of the world, but don't worry about me. Attitude and gratitude, that's all that matters. Isn't that right? <laughs> yes, of course, but it has to be hard to keep that positive attitude all the time. Oh, honey, I know better than spend my day fretting. Well, just the other day, Jane reminded me that she's coming back to help me with my little enterprise. <laughs> Jane is coming back here? From England? Isn't that fabulous? Not for another month or two, but I know when she does, my fortunes will take off. <laughs> I don't have to tell you what incredible business acumen Jane has. She is a star. <laughs> you know, Maddie, you don't have to wait for Jane to come home to help with your fortunes. You have me, right here. Oh, I can never impose on you like that. You're such a busy young woman. I would be happy to take the time out to help a dear friend of the family's. You don't need to wait for Jane. She has so much going on already. <sighs> I'm overwhelmed. You would do that for me. Of course I would. I am Emma Woodhouse. That's what I do. We're starting tomorrow. Oh, alrighty then. In the meantime, how about I show you this budgeting software? <clears throat> oh, look at that, Harriet. Yes, Harriet? Sorry to interrupt, but you have a very important phone call, Emma, from the Queen of England. The Queen! Oh my goodness. Um, Emma, you go ahead. I am gonna t pop in and tell Mr. Knightley the good news. And tell Her Majesty I said, hello. <laughs> oh, don't forget to try the preserves. I won't. The Queen! Oh my goodness, Mr. Knightley! The Queen! <sighs> Peach, guava, turnip preserves. It goes good on, well, you'll figure it out. Thanks. You've been on the lookout for our next client, right? Yes, I've already started putting together a list. There's a homemaker who needs more free time, a filmmaker who needs to stop dating actresses, and- Shell them. Shell them? Yes, and start looking for people who may need financial consulting. But we don't do financial planning. No, but Maddie does. And we are going to find her people to advise, to make her business better.